Welcome back. As the conflict between Russia and Ukraine continues, Zoolanders are lending a helping hand. KCAU 9 News reporter Nick Wilson was in Norfolk earlier today as the community there welcomed folks from that war-torn country. 22 Ukrainian refugees were flown into Omaha on three different flights last night. Norfolk residents tell me they're proud to give these refugees a place to call home. For these Ukrainian refugees, living in Siouxland was unimaginable earlier this year. We was just living a peaceful life, go to school, work, and now we uh, found ourselves in a situation we never expect is going to happen in our lifetime. But when these families finally arrived in Norfolk, community members gave them a heartwarming welcome to their new home. We didn't really expect this kind of welcoming. That many people here together today, we were thinking we're going to just get to our place and just unpack our suitcases. But when we see all these people here waiting for us, it was really emotional for everybody. Orphan Grain Train led the efforts to bring the refugees to Siouxland. Vice President Grant Schmidt says the team was met with several obstacles along the way. You know, the invasion happened in February. We started in March to figure out what, what Orphan Grain Train can do. Uh, and we started with trying to find a way to get supplies shipped and actually found out we had to airlift them. Schmidt says the city of Norfolk provided transportation for the refugees. Mayor Josh Moaning says the city is preparing for more refugees in the future. At this site, at this location, in addition to the existing structure, there will be some temporary housing structures that are placed. But for the refugees, adjusting to their new life in Siouxland will still take time. It's really hard to describe right now what we're feeling because on one hand we left the, our country and it's really, you know, big pain. On another hand we're here, we're safe, our kids safe, but it's, it's really hard for them to process all this experience. The refugees will live with a host family for two weeks until they finally move into their new home. They will live here until they become financially independent. In Norfolk, Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News. The Orphan Grain Train is also collecting items to send to people in need in Ukraine. On August 11th through the 15th, the donation trailer will be located in the Center Mall parking lot that's in Sioux Center. Some of the items needed right now are diapers, bars of soap, socks and underwear, and more. We do have a full list of the items that they're asking for on our website. That's at SiouxLandProud.com or on the free KCAU 9 mobile news app.